What's up fam? Welcome to my channel. This is your boy Dangel from beautiful, amazing and sunny Los Angeles. Just look at this beautiful view. I'm blessed to live here. Alright, I know I'm late, but better late than never. There's a new video about my weekly earnings for the previous week. And if you're interested how much I made and how I made it, watch this video up to the very end and before I start remember to subscribe to my channel like my video and leave your comments down below so let's go and let's start right from the screenshots as you can see it's a little bit very very little less than before previous week in the first video, I showed that I made around $2,023. For the previous week, I made in total $2,012. Why? I'll tell you now. As you remember, in the previous video, here is the link by the way. In the previous video, I said that in California, Uber Eats has a law Prom 22 for over over working hours and over mileage sorry about that we are getting compensated and for the previous before previous week I had it like almost $280 for the previous week I didn't have any adjustments because like I said sorry about that guys but it's gonna be like this uh, for the previous week it's been zero because it's every two weeks so uh, if you look at the Grubhub once again there is just a hundred and something dollars and on the before previous week I got more than one hundred and ten dollars so like you see I had to work really hard to make almost the same amount of money but tell you honestly I was lucky having enough energy having some strategies and sometimes some good orders especially during the business uh, not the business hours especially during the lunch yeah lunch and the working days so i found a really good spot with the food that people in the office really like um and this is the tip during the lunch time you need to find a business area i don't recommend you know, look for a college areas universities etc because those guys they are not serious you know, they can order a smoothie, just a smoothie, what, four or five dollars. Or they can order one burger, even one, one fries. <laughs> what are you talking about? So, yeah, I don't recommend it, even if it's consecutively. I don't recommend it to stay here by the universities and college areas. You better go and look for a business area where the huge amount of offices different offices who have like over a hundred states working working people personal and they need a food because sometimes they order like 25 30 50 portions what can be like over five hundred dollars and that's what you really need I'm sorry for the wind I'm just in the area where it's windy but it's a beautiful area and I'm here always just to give you some motivation I don't want to sit on my couch or in my patio I want to be in the area that will bring you motivation guys and if it's windy it's beautiful and you get in the energy from it so the best day the previous week was Sunday but tell you honestly 
if you if you watch the video I made three hundred seventy dollars but I kept complaining during the video that this is slow it's slow it's slow why did I do that well it's simple because I really expect on every Sunday high payout orders and I really didn't have them I had to try so many miles to make this $370 so I don't really think it's worth it but you know this is experience we're just looking for strategies that will maximize our money our income and will minimize our spendings um, we're on the way um, also I want to say that I didn't really work on Monday and Tuesday I did but not that much to make this $300 my daily goal is 300 plus because it's the only way to make a good amount of money uh, what I really can recommend you like in the morning you can take almost every order this is my strategy almost every order because it at least in my area in Redonda Beach Manhattan Beach it's uh, small orders with a low mileage but you know their consecutiveness is eternal like I accepted first before I dropped it off I received another one and then another one and then another one so I can make like eight to ten in a row and that's great then when it's 11 30 a.m. all the way to 2 30 p.m. I really recommend you to stay in the business area by the business restaurants such as Tanner Greens, Urban Plates, Shake and Shack. I don't recommend you Chipotle, McDonald's or something like that because in that's that kind of restaurants you rarely can get a high pay order or a high check. So you better stay by the restaurants that have a standard food like rice and chicken, fish and vegetables or a high quality burgers. And and the night time, let's say from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. <laughs> the best area it's the best uh, no let me formulate it uh, so at this time you really can give a chance to the alcohol stores sushi bars or any other bars because people want to hang out they want to chill they're coming back home and you know they just uh, they don't care about anything they just they just want to relax and that kind of food that makes them relax food uh, I mean pizza sushi chips steaks etc so in my area I prefer to stay in the Long Beach Pier of uh, sorry Manhattan Beach Pier or Hermosa Beach Pier because they have plenty of this kind of restaurants that people well you know the the vibey and they order the food and it's like pretty high uh, so just take a look again on my screenshots that's it for today I hope you got something I hope you got motivation thank you for staying tuned Thank you for watching my videos, thank you for sharing, for comments, for everything. Remember to subscribe to my channel, share this video, and we'll see you very soon. Keep hustling, grinding, and then when you get old, you have all kind of a passive incomes. Love you all, guys.